All right, guys. So <clears throat> today's video is about um like sneezing. <coughs> oh, whew. yeah. So that's it's basically the video um so i got uh, okay well i'll segue into the next topic <laughs> so this video is about a clever little trick that society uses on you now what is this clever little trick it's really brilliant. This clever little trick is designed to make you feel guilty about being in a less than ideal situation. Now I did a video recently about so much violence and tragedy. I think that's what it's called. I covered different things about uh, society and why perhaps it's a bit turbulent and a bit unbalanced. Now, so what is this clever little trick that society uses on you? Well, in that video that I did about so much violence and tragedy, I talk about the inequality that we have here in, uh, in North America. I guess you can uh, <clears throat> talk about that inequality anywhere else in the world too, but I, I'm just going to specifically talk about North America because that's where I live and that's the area I'm most familiar with. So we have this inequality where most people are pretty poor and then there's like a few, you know, ridiculously rich that basically control everything, right? So what's this clever little thing that we use in society? Well, most people are in a very less than ideal situation, right? So most people, their life consists of waking up and going to a job they don't like. A very uninspiring job. A very soul-sucking kind of job that just brings nothing beautiful out of you it's just something you do out of the necessity you know, out of necessity to pay your rent and to just keep going right now where is this clever little trick that society uses well this clever little trick is designed to make you not complain to make you just keep doing it i'll just keep doing it i'll keep doing it now, why do you have to keep doing it and not complain? Because then you feel guilty. Now, why do you feel guilty? Are you ready for the secret reveal? Because if you feel guilty and complain, somebody will tell you, Hey, Tony, you shouldn't complain. Some people have it much worse than you. That's brilliant, right? Because that way you kind of feel like, you know, Maybe you're feeling sorry for yourself, thinking, oh, well, I just wake up every day and go to this job that I don't like, and most of my money just goes to pay my rent, and then I just repeat the cycle again next month, and it just kills my soul. It's so sad, and I don't know how to get out of it, and most of the people around me are in the same situation, but you can't really complain about it because that way you feel guilty because someone will tell you, hey, Tony, somebody has it much worse than you. And that's a brilliant thing to tell people in our society. That way it just keeps us, just keep keep doing what we're doing. The worker bees, right? The worker bees got to just keep working. Now, why is this a brilliant saying to tell to somebody? Because you back them to a corner. Oh, hey, you can't complain. Somebody has it much worse than you. Like if you tell somebody, 
all I do is work every day and most of my money just goes to pay rent and I just repeat the cycle over and over again every month. Somebody will tell you, yeah, but you shouldn't complain about that because some people don't even have enough to even pay the rent. Oh, they got you. Oh, now you feel like a fool. Can you believe it? You complained about working a soulless job all day long. Just to have enough money to pay your rent and not much else for anything else and then you just keep doing the same thing every month. But you complain about it and you shouldn't because some people don't have enough to even pay rent. And then you might also complain, oh, I work every day at this job I don't like and I have just enough to pay the rent and just enough to buy a bit of food. And then that's it. I have nothing left over. And once again, somebody says, hey, 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 don't complain. Be happy. Because some people don't even have enough to buy food. Hmm? They got you. Brilliant strategy for a society, right? Because you feel guilty and you feel like you don't appreciate things if you complain about that. It's brilliant. It keeps all the worker bees happy. Oh, I should just be thankful. You know, at least I have enough to pay my rent. It's brilliant. Right? It's absolutely brilliant. For the people who control most of our society, the billionaires upon trillionaires, it's brilliant for them. Can you imagine how much they love that saying? Oh, you shouldn't complain. Some people have it much worse than you. It's just, it's like, it's like a saying from the heavens, right? And it's such a ridiculous, obvious sentence to say. There's nothing really that intellectual or wise about it. Wow, you're brilliant. Wow, did you just tell somebody, hey, somebody has it much worse than you shouldn't complain? What kind of pointless statement is that to make? Obviously, somebody, somebody always has it worse. So basically, that means just always shut up, never complain about nothing, right? Because somebody always has it worse. Oh, I just... Oh, I was at work at the factory and uh, my arm got stuck in the machine and my, my arm got ripped apart and it got like pretty much amputated. Oh, and somebody's like, oh, hey, yeah, well, you shouldn't complain because when I was at work, both of my arms got ripped off. At least you have one arm. You shouldn't complain. Right? The, this idea that, hey, you shouldn't complain. Somebody has a worse. Yes, somebody always has a worse. But using that mentality, it's just, it's, I can go into a million examples, but I think get the idea. Maybe I can go into a darker example just to really feed the point of how nonsensical this idea is. You know, this woman, you know, she's like, oh my God, you have no idea. Uh, you know, th this man rapes me once a month and it's just horrible. And some woman's like, oh, pff, really? That's it? Oh, I get raped three times a day. I mean, that's really, you shouldn't comply. I have it much worse than you. You only get raped once a month? Wow. I mean, some women get raped 30 times a day. I mean, pff, come on, right? Yes, yes, that's an extreme example, but you get, you get my point. This idea that just keep your mouth closed. Don't ever complain because somebody has it worse than you. It's such a nonsensical argument. I get the sentimentality behind it. It's the idea to just be thankful for what you have. I, I get it, but it's such a simplistic way of looking at a situation. When you look at most of our society, and it's basically 99% of the people are just working in crappy jobs, barely getting by, but you're not supposed to complain because you have enough to just barely pay your rent and buy a bit of food. You know, some people don't even have that, so you should just be happy. So just go along and be happy. That's basically the, uh, you know, like the, what we're fed. Just be thankful for that. Oh, well, at least I have a roof over my head because some people don't. Yes, it's horrible that some people actually don't. But the idea that we're supposed to be thankful for this mundane existence of basically just going to work every day with a job we don't like, just enough money to barely get by and we just keep repeating that for our entire life. But we're supposed to be happy with that. Hey, some people have a worse. Shh, don't complain. It's fine, it's fine. It's good, right? Keeps us really docile and calm and, oh, you know, I'm thankful. At least I have a job. That's another thing, you know, when you work this soul-sucking job that just 
And somebody's like, hey, you should be thankful. At least you have a job. Some people don't. Wow, there you go. Brilliant. So basically, just use that excuse for anything, no matter how extreme the situation is. Just always tell someone, hey, you know, somebody has it worse than you. Shh. And then society just keeps going because we're all very thankful. We're all very thankful that at least we can pay our rent and at least we can buy a little bit of food. We have nothing else left over, but hey, you know, don't complain because somebody has it worse than you. So where am I going with this? Where I'm going is that yes, somebody always has it worse. So can we just move on past that simplistic idea of like, shh, keep quiet. Somebody has worse and you shouldn't complain. You should be thankful. Of course, we should be thankful, but this idea that we're never allowed to really voice our pains and our struggles because someone has it worse and you'll feel guilty if you do is nonsense. Somebody always has it worse. I was supposed to just never speak about anything, right? So the way our society is run, sort of perfect right now for the people who are sort of controlling it all, right? It's just, hey, be thankful. Shh. Somebody has it worse, not that bad. And our society just keeps going. So is there any sort of positivity or something uplifting I can say about all of this? I would say, don't be worried to voice your concerns. Don't be worried that, oh, I can't really complain about that because I'll feel guilty because somebody has it worse. No, voice your concerns because somebody always has it worse. It's a nonsensical notion, the idea that we're not allowed. We're supposed to feel guilty for voicing our concerns because somebody has it worse. Voice your concerns. That's it. So if you have anything that's bothering you, don't be afraid to voice your concerns. Don't feel guilty about it. Because somebody always has it worse. That doesn't mean we're not allowed to speak anymore. So speak, voice your concerns. Don't be afraid to say what's on your mind. And uh, that can be done in a loving, gentle way. We don't, we don't have to be mean to each other. We can voice our concerns. We can have our complaints. But keep it civil. Keep it respectful. And that's it. All right? So you guys all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.